Welcome back to T. Josiah Gaming. I'm T. Josiah, and this is gaming. We've got a treat for you today. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's pointless and dangerous. Yeah, I like that. Now I might as well do it to get the soul off of him. And the Geo. 45? 50. Oh, okay. Alright, so I want to go into the east side of the city. And honestly, I think that I should just go ahead and get the Monarch Wings. So that I'm overpowered. Although, to be fair, that does make the Forgotten Crossroads more dangerous. Uh, in which case, I think the answer is just to... Uh, Oh, that kills him too? Oh my gosh. I think the answer in the case that I just expressed is just get a uh, get another mask. Each each extra mask, every four mask shards is a percentage point, so okay. Sure. That's exactly what I intended to do. stag station and it's like 300 geo to get this one which is fine I don't know do I really need the stag stations probably it'll make my life a lot easier whenever I get out of speed run mode because eventually I'm just gonna get into 100% mode how many do I get oh my gosh I did not get 11 for that did I Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going back to the bench because I'm dumb, dumb, dumb. I, I was going dumb baby mode on that one. Nothing against babies. They're beautiful. Uh, they're also very dumb. And I don't want to be like one. Alright. Monarch wings, here we come. I'm tempted to just go into the first room of Kingdom's Edge. Come on. You can't just uh, go past him like that. Interesting. Very interesting. I tried to run through him while I had invincibility. Like you probably, I think you can with most minor enemies at least. Hmm. Fascinating. Anyway. This, uh, area does make me nervous because of all the spikes and more so because that was a breeze obviously more so i'm scared of this screen this is the only screen where i've ever lost my shade like i've lost i lost six thousand geo one time and i didn't fully understand at the time that you can get it back oh my gosh you come a far long way Oh, you're still here. Okay. Uh, I didn't fully understand how quickly you could get it back, and uh, I was also at a point in the game where you need that Geo for things, and I just spent my soul so I can't use it on healing. Now I can get this guy, and then I'll get this guy. Does anyone else wonder, as I do, about why, gosh darn, that was close, okay. 
about why there are so many similarities to this section and deep between this section and deep nest. I have a guess, but first let me point out that this little layout of a room where there's two thin walls in this one block that I'm standing on right now reminds me of the Dung Defender lead up and I wonder if that's purposeful because they're both related to the kingdom, the Pale King's area. Okay. Hey, Corny. Okay. Anyway. Uh, my theory on why some of this early ancient basin stuff looks like Deep Nest, with like the bugs as spikes, and some of the and the ground uses some Deep Nest stuff, which I think might also might be actually Forgotten Crossroads instead. I hope I'm not wrong about I hope I'm not sounding like a noob on that. But I saw one long play where this guy thought he was going into another side of Deep Nest. Gosh. And so I wonder if it was purposeful on the game dev's part to make you think you were going into deep nest. Okay. Usually a little better with the bullet hell. The, of the Mollarks. Oh, that was not on purpose. That was just luck. That. Oh, he knew. Oh. Sometimes the game expresses a flat-out hatred for the player, but in the most loving way possible. And I don't... I cannot imagine enjoying Dark Souls. I do feel like it's similar to that, where they're just gonna... They're gonna kill you in creative ways. <gasps> oh! I can't believe the chances on that. I am an unlucky boy. <gasps> One comes right down onto him? Wow! Okay, so I'm really bad at the Mollarks. Obviously. I expect a lot of people who aren't the biggest experts in the game are similarly bad. I don't know. Cool. Anyway. Come on, infected balloon. Okay. Something, something, something. I don't know. Gosh, there's so many thoughts I have, and then I get to play. I still am convinced, and it's probably not true, but I'm still convinced that those little tiny single cells of infection, if you kill them in, in this pre-area, then a uh, broken vessel has less health. These guys don't give you soul at this board. That's funny. All right, can I do hitless? I'm gonna say no. Okay, a lot of that in a row. <gasps> you poopy diaper. I had a great plan and everything. Okay. Oh, crud. 
also the Kickstarter. Come on, kill it, kill it. I don't want to die. I'm going to die. Oh my gosh. The Kickstarter trailer and preview thing that showed that boss back before they, uh, before Team Cherry ported, well, ported, I think they had to redo the entire game from scratch. Before they redid the entire game from scratch on Unity, and they were doing it on, I don't know, Game Maker Studio, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> but the, the graphics and the particle effects, it's so weird to see what, for instance, Lost Kin used to look like. Oh, whenever it was in, not bef you know, before it was in Unity, it's Unity's powerful engine, uh, to see, what is it, William Pellin or R. Gibson? Which one of them does... Oh, come on, I forgot. Okay, that's fine. We can just die with this one time. I like doing this. Oh, okay. Good, that doesn't steal soul me out. Now, I do not need to do this for any percentage, necessarily. But it does... Oh, crud. It does help for getting essence. going to be the way that I beat this. exercise in... Nope. <gasps> and I didn't even heal to take the hit! Oh, I am such a silly billy. Oh, come on. I am being a silly billy. I need to try to... Oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Nope. Oof. That is tough on my little ego. <gasps> oh. Yes, I know, game. I was out of soul. I was out of soul and I didn't notice because I'm not good enough at tracking my soul. That was close. <gasps> die, die, die. Oh, I killed it and it killed me at the same time. 
That is 500 poopy diapers. Oh my gosh, I put my headphones on too much. Ha! Can cut that one out to save me some embarrassment. All right, my lost kin. I could use this as a practice for... Come on. For talking while doing a hard fight. But I think instead... They turned around and they are long horned. Because it's fun for me. That was my fault. I am a risky boy. I really should be healing. So proud of myself. It only took me an extra 10 minutes. It was worth it. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, and it feels so good to get it on a camera. Oh, uh, I'm recording whatever we call it on VOD. With that, ladies and gents, I'm gonna call it a night. I hope that you have a wonderful life and a wonderful night, a wonderful wife, and a wonderful knife of uh, butter on your toast, if that is how you consume your toast. Amen.